Yo, what's up everybody? This is Ray and this is my first video blog slash vlog on this YouTube channel so I'm quite nervous right now. So, well, actually, I'm going to talk to you about something that's been happening around here. Mm, for your information, I live in Jakarta, Indonesia and from the um, YouTube and everything that's going around the internet Mm, SM Town Global Audition is finally coming and it's coming to Indonesia as well and it is their first stop uh, in Indonesia and it's at 23rd of February so I'm pretty much looking forward to that and as a good person I am I'm gonna just give you some tips and tricks of entering the SM Audition well, the first is to complete all procedures, so you can check the website below, the website, yeah, the website below to check and see if you have completed all the procedures, have you emailed the uh, SM Town employees or stuff like that, have, have you um, provided them with the right information of yourself, and maybe your pictures, and maybe some of your um, videos or covers of you guys singing or dancing maybe or anything because SM doesn't only recruit like K-pop singers and dancers they also recruit actors and MCs as well as gagmen of course okay number two is appearance so you really want to look pretty much like yourself you don't want to overdo anything so just like be yourself don't put on too much makeup for the girls or like the guys like don't overdress it's like uh, you can just wear jeans and t-shirt well just wear something appropriate for yourself but don't overdo it okay number three people are very concerned about age well I myself am 21 so I searched a bit of uh, the uh, I, I searched SM databases and um, as pretty much as I'm a guy, well, I'm I'm pretty much into EXO right now, actually, as a boy group. Um, well, I saw like Shimin um, entered the SM audition like at 20 or 21, so I don't think like 21 the age of 21 or like maybe 22 are not that old for like SM as long as you have the talent and the guts to do it well um, it is also like um, maybe like 18 or 19 is uh, the pretty much the best age for audition because like you just you just graduated from your school and you haven't gone to college so like if you don't want to go to college or like if this is the right dream for you like you should audition like the hell like you should like you should try it because it's a once in a lifetime experience okay so the fourth is uh the most important thing song choice so uh i'm going to tell you about this uh the dancing perspective first like the dancing perspective um i saw from the internet that a lot of the auditions you just have to come and dance freestyle for the dancing audition so you don't have to bring any songs they will provide you a song and you'll just like dance through it and for the singing uh, singing part if you're a fan of this song or this song then don't pick it don't pick any K-pop songs that like upbeat or like the K-pop songs that are your jam that you really like so you need to like pick any song it doesn't have to be a K-pop song any Korean song or English songs or maybe Indonesian songs like any songs in your language that really makes your vocals stood out so maybe ballads or maybe if you're into rock your, your voice is a little bit husky you can do that or 
pick any song that is very comfortable for yourself and your voice and that showcases your talent. And last but not least, just be yourself. It's like, I know that um, SM tends to mold you guys into anything that they want, but of course SM is finding something or someone who is different from the others and pretty much what they don't have right now in their entertainment. So be yourself and if you have like a very special talent, if you have that you can like showcase showcase them as well. Like maybe if you can speak four to five languages and you can tell that or I don't know maybe you can like curl your tongue or something because like you know the Korean entertainment industry likes something weird and funny to show and broadcast something like that so keep that in mind be yourself and have maybe a couple of talents you can show them besides singing and dancing of course yeah and if you um if you uh provide them with all five of that the tips and tricks that i show you i think that you can have a pretty good chance of maybe getting an SM Entertainment or so. I don't know the procedures after the audition, like what do we do or like what do we have to pay or something. Like I'm just gonna wait for after the auditions. They said, said it's gonna be like a month after auditions you will be informed that you will be accepted or not. If you don't get accepted then you don't get the email. If you get accepted then you get the email and stuff like that. But I don't know the real uh, terms and conditions of that so maybe you could ask that at the place and yeah and that's it so may the best candidate win well I'm joining as well so like I'm looking forward to meet every one of you guys there so that's it thanks for watching my first ever video blog and I hope like we have more coming and see ya